Okay, so I got vegan mob and um, I got their macaroni and cheese because it's vegan and also a peach cobbler. Did not realize this was the size of the peach cobbler. I could probably put this all in one bite in my mouth. It's very small. Um, yeah, I'm excited about this though, but look for comparison, just like, it's not big, but that's okay. I didn't really eat anything today. I had a granola bar this morning. That was about it. Oh, I'm so excited for this macaroni and cheese. I don't, I'm not able to eat macaroni and cheese because I am lactose intolerant, but this is vegan. So I think they make it with cashews or something. Oh, it's so good. Oh my God. I like, I crave it. I crave cheese. I want pizza. I can't eat it though. And the Daya stuff that they use on vegan pizza, I do not enjoy it. It's really good. It's got, um, peppers in it. Looks like some parsley or cilantro or something. It's very creamy. I got some of that um, Bonza macaroni and cheese and that's a vegan macaroni and cheese. It comes in a box, like Kraft macaroni kind of, same kind of thing. Um, I made that. It was all right. I didn't want to use milk in it like I have oat milk but I didn't want to use that in macaroni and cheese but I have this like vegan butter I'm gonna use that and it was okay it wasn't great though because it wasn't just like regular pasta it was like pasta made out of peas or something so it just tasted like peas which I don't really enjoy peas are probably eh I'll eat them but like it's not a great flavor that I look forward to when I'm trying to eat macaroni and cheese if you know what I mean this is really good though yeah if you're vegan or if you're lactose intolerant like me um, I don't know I don't know how to make this like cashew cheese sauce. I would love to learn how to make that. I think it's hard. I think it's difficult to do because there's just like a lot of steps involved. You have to like strain it. I didn't really describe anything right there, but there's a lot of steps involved in making cashew cheese. Yeah. I was looking for seltzer. I finished my seltzer. Mmm. This is me hanging out on a Thursday night. Kind of feels like a Friday night. I have half days on Friday, so it almost is like a like a Friday night on Thursday night. We had a uh, a contest for lip syncing videos. Um, I'm not really competitive. I'm not, I kind of hate competitions. I don't like contests, but I do love lip syncing. Really love lip syncing. And I like making music videos. So I entered the contest. Um, not too many people entered, which was kind of sad like it would have been cool if more people had participated I think I won I'm not sure I didn't get a it wasn't like official or anything like that but um people liked it I spent time on it I spent like six hours on it total 
I did three hours of filming and then three hours of editing and I was thinking like I finished it Monday night and I was thinking yesterday like maybe I should go back in and add like a different um, shot all of the shots were kind of similar and I thought like oh maybe I should do one with it's just like my mouth like on the screen lip syncing but I didn't actually do that yeah people liked it um I was surprised it was a little bit embarrassing because it was like we watched them live on zoom all together and I was really nervous um when mine came on just like having to watch myself on screen with all my co-workers watching it on screen at the same time I was like shaking I get really nervous um but it was cool um I think people really liked it and you know like I I love doing stuff like that like I just want to do more stuff like that just make videos um, Zephyr, no, but it was fun. Um, I think I thought too much about it and honestly I, I was expecting like, I was expecting the design people to enter the contest, but they didn't. Actually no, Kenneth, Kenneth entered, he, he did something, but his grand plan didn't work out. So he just did kind of something simple. Um, but I was expecting like the musicians and the people who have like podcasts and stuff like that where they're used to doing editing all the time. I was expecting them to turn something in and like do something very complicated. So I wanted to keep up and did something, you know, I made myself step my game up. So yeah, it was just me and two other videos. But there's something hard in my macaroni and cheese. I don't know what it is. Maybe it was a spice. I don't know. I always seem to like, whenever I get something out to eat, there's always something in my food that shouldn't be in my food. One time I was at a restaurant and um, I was eating soup and there was something like hard in the soup and I picked it out. I picked it out of my mouth because I was like, I probably shouldn't eat this. This doesn't taste like food. I picked it out and it was like a piece of metal from the pan that I guess it was cooked in. It was metal. It was like literally metal. Um, that was gross. One time I got a sandwich at Whole Foods and, um, they, uh, I asked them to like grill the sandwich or whatever. <clears throat> I bit into it and it was hard. There was a hard thing in, in my sandwich and, um, I was like, oh, maybe this is just like a piece of lettuce or something. And I like tried chewing it more. And I, I spat it out and it was um, the little plastic bread tie that comes on a bag of bread. They had uh, cooked that, they grilled that into my sandwich. That was gross. I got my money back. I think the hard thing my macaroni and cheese was just like a, a spice or something. I guess like maybe I should um I would like to work with a musician or something and make music video type things with my poems maybe I like 
I was talking to a musician several years ago when I was dating my abusive ex. And this musician wanted to work with me and do like weird audio recordings with music and my poetry. And um, we did one session together and recorded stuff. <clears throat> um, but my controlling ex-boyfriend didn't like the fact that I was working with a musician who wasn't him. Um, he didn't like the fact that I was like getting offered to do something creative, you know, like he, he felt like he deserved that for whatever reason. He played guitar and bass and like he thought he was really hot shit and he just trash talked the project that I was working on and um, like was jealous that I was working with a man and like... <clears throat> He, like, didn't let me keep working on that, and, um, he ruined so much for me. It's kind of amazing that I let that in my life for so long. I have so, like, I think, um, you know, there's plenty of things that I've done in my life where I've sabotaged myself from having any sort of, like, going to the next level or, like, you know, doing something that I actually want to do. I've kind of shot myself in the foot several times along the way and it's you know it's hurt me it's hurt me a lot um, and yeah this was an instance where there was several of them that he just like he he fucking kidnapped me from my own poetry reading like he literally did that um, he didn't like me having friends or yeah he was threatened he wanted to control me and um, making sure that I didn't have friends or other people in my life or whatever that you know he did he just tried to control me so much and uh, <clears throat> it fucked with my shit finished the macaroni and cheese now I have this little peach cobbler guy it's so small. It is a very small peach cobbler. It is the tiniest pie. My tiny pie. How am I supposed to eat this? Did I take it out of the tin? It's like a little tart. Guess how much it costs? I thought it was gonna be a lot bigger. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay. It's kind of dry. He was a narcissist ever, and you know what? He convinced me that I was the narcissist. And that's something that I held on to for a very long time, believing. I still, you know, it still creeps up on me now. It was $6. $6 for the small little kind of dry pie. It's too much crust, I think. Not enough peaches. It's pretty good. My favorite pie is my mom's pie. She makes really good apple pie. But also, um, in Philly, they have these things called Tasty Cakes. And it's like a snack food company. Um, what you call? They make cupcakes, cookies, and stuff like that for you to put in your sack lunch. Um, occasionally I would get these pies by Tasty Cake and it's like a hand pie. It's a fried pie with fruit filling. My favorite were the lemon pie 
just like a fried pie with lemon filling inside. Oh my God, I would go crazy over that. The cherry one was good too. And when I was in kindergarten, for some reason, I liked the coconut cream pie. And um, I remember bringing that in for lunch one day and the boy that I had a crush on made fun of me for eating coconut. He said that was disgusting. But you know what? He used to bring in tuna salad and I thought that was disgusting. And we both got in trouble for making fun of each other's lunches. I don't like this crust. This crust is not good. Mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. But the macaroni and cheese. I don't know if this is worth $10. This should have been a lot bigger for $10, but whatever. I have a good appetite. I can eat a lot. Aw, oh, Nina, <laughs> thank you. I'm glad this is funny. Because I almost started crying a few minutes ago. <laughs> Not because of the pie size. Just like thinking about being controlled by some freaking loser. All right, this concludes my snack time. Thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed the cherry blossoms. Um, go check out my music video if you haven't watched it yet. And, you know, maybe, um, maybe I will find a musician who wants to work with me and make stuff together. That would be cool. I'm not making my own because I can't process dairy products because I'm lactose intolerant. And the box macaroni and cheese that I have that's vegan isn't that great. I don't like it. So I treated myself to a Thursday night special meal after not eating all day. If I could eat regular macaroni and cheese, I would. I would for sure, but I can't. Um, anyway, hope you're having a good night. Catch you later.